China's top industrial humanoid robot just got a major upgrade that the world might not be ready for. It could usher in an age where machines operate around the clock without help from people. Also, figure AI just peeled back the curtain on the batteries powering its next generation humanoid, while Anduril's Palmer Lucky raised alarms about China's increasingly sophisticated humanoids through a robotic avatar. The leading Chinese robotics firm UB Tech says its next-generation industrial humanoid is equipped for 24-7 duty. It only needs the occasional three-minute break to swap out its own battery. UB Tech shocked the world earlier in 2025 with this footage of a large fleet of its industrial humanoids performing a wide range of tasks at Zeker's smart automotive factory. The robots work together as what UB Tech calls an intelligent swarm using the firm's self-developed BrainNet AI system. According to UB Tech, the robots self-organize and distribute tasks without needing human involvement. With cross-field fusion perception, the robots combine vision, touch, and AI decision-making to understand their surroundings and take actions. The video also shows one of the robots recharging another member of its swarm after it runs out of power suddenly. Now, the Shenzhen-based robotics firm just shared this footage of its next-generation industrial humanoid with a sleeker design and more human-like walking gait. The second iteration of UB Tech's flagship industrial humanoid, first introduced in fall 2024, features a novel hot swappable power system, a major step toward around-the-clock operation. While robots like Tesla's Optimus and Honda's Osimo have demonstrated the ability to self-dock to charge themselves, UB Tech's approach virtually eliminates the required downtime. According to UB Tech, the humanoids can perform full battery exchanges in about three minutes. It remains powered on thanks to its dual battery architecture. Each battery runs for about two and a half hours per charge. In demo footage shared by UB Tech, a Walker S2 uses its dual arms to remove a depleted battery from its torso and insert a charged module from a docking station, all without human intervention. UB Tech notes that its Walker S2 humanoids use standardized batteries across units so a single station can serve multiple robots. The robotics firm likened the breakthrough to techniques employed by Chinese EV makers like Neo and Geely. According to the company, the humanoid robots can even decide whether to swap or recharge in place depending on the situation. It's worth noting that the robot in the demo uses parallel grippers rather than dexterous hands, a sign that the system still needs refining for general deployment. Founded back in 2012, UB Tech initially focused on robots for education and service applications. Their first Walker humanoid debuted in 2018 with a design geared toward consumer and service applications. The company expanded into logistics as it shifted its Walker line more toward industrial tasks. UBTech plans to ship up to a thousand of its Walker industrial humanoids by the end of 2025. They're aiming to scale to up to 10,000 units in 2026. Pricing per unit is estimated at between $68,000 and $100,000, with costs expected to go down as production is scaled. UB Tech also recently unveiled its Walker C commercial humanoid, a panda-themed social robot named Yu, and its first ultra-realistic android, Una. Meanwhile, in Silicon Valley, the unicorn startup figure continues teasing its much-anticipated third-generation humanoid robot. The robotics firm just gave a first look at the batteries it's manufacturing in-house to power its figure three humanoids. On the ex-social media platform, founder Brett Adcock said the next-gen batteries are 78% cheaper to produce than the first and second iterations with superior safety and reliability. He said Figure has looked into hot, swappable batteries, but the engineering implications are not worth it at this point. Each battery is protected by strong steel and die-cast metal. They store at least 2.25 kilowatt hours of energy, which can power the humanoids for hours without recharging. 
figure developed a cooling system that spreads heat away from the cells to keep the batteries from getting too hot. In the event of a thermal runway, which is when one cell fails and overheats, the battery is engineered to prevent fire and heat from spreading to other cells, containing the damage. Figure says it tested the batteries by causing real overheating and fire events in its lab to prove they could survive dangerous situations. The startup is working with the German company Tufzut on getting certified for industrial use and for safe shipping and transport. Figure emphasizes in-house development and production, manufacturing its batteries and other critical components from its Bot Q facility in San Jose. The factory is designed to scale to 12,000 units per year and Adcock has said he sees a path toward 100,000 humanoids in the next four years. In Detroit, Palmer Lucky, the eccentric founder of the defense tech unicorn Anduro Industries, spoke at the second annual reindustrialized summit through a humanoid robot. The summit is focused on modernizing and revitalizing the United States industrial base, bringing together leaders from tech, manufacturing, government, and finance. The San Francisco-based startup foundation built and operated the humanoid robot that represented Lucky, sporting a wig and Hawaiian shirt. Lucky dialed in using a VR headset for a discussion with tech journalist Ashley Vance. The Oculus inventor expressed concern about China's rapid advancements in humanoid robotics as the People's Republic aims to lead the emerging market by 2027. I actually had done too much heartburn over where the machines come from. As long as there are machines in our friend network, our friends list, uh, that are as good as the ones that are being made by our adversaries. And that is the thing that I'm most concerned about is that some of these Chinese machines are actually surpassing the quality of anyone in the Western Super Friends group. Lucky has a habit of delivering prepared remarks in unconventional ways. What I'm about to do is in very, very bad taste, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, we'll see. During a TED Talk earlier this year, he wore smart glasses by even realities as a concealed teleprompter to display his notes as he advocated for autonomous military robots with lethal capabilities. The display effectively skirted TED's no teleprompter policy. Foundation unveiled its flagship humanoid robot, the Phantom MK1, earlier in 2025. They're developing the general-purpose robotic humanoid for applications in manufacturing, logistics, and defense. The robot that channeled the Anduro founder is a newer bipedal model, though its movements on stage appeared limited to the upper body. While leading humanoid developers like Boston Dynamics have pledged to not build robots for lethal applications, Foundation is notably eager. According to the information, Foundation is trying to raise $100 million for a billion-dollar valuation. For more on the Phantom MK1 and other humanoids to watch out for in 2025, check the related video.